welcome to Water Bear Reads, where I discuss illustrated classics and modern classics. My name is Heather. I wanted to jump on here real quick and do a short video for you uh, because I totally forgot to show you my Nancy Drews in last week's book haul video. And I had told you guys I was going to do that. And I actually had them sitting right next to me. I had put the stack next to my chair like a week before so I wouldn't forget them. And then in the interim, they sort of became part of the furniture and then I just forgot about them in the end. <laughs> so I thought I would jump on and do this and it was perfect because this time of the year in October everything is yellow. The leaves are all yellow and it's been beautiful weather and there's been blue skies and when the sunlight shines on the leaves they just glow and I really love it when the yellows come out because you know, even on the days when the sky isn't blue, when it's just gray and gloomy, they still shine through that. And you don't really get that so much with the oranges and the reds, so that's what I love about them. Before I get started, I just want to show you guys a couple of things that I have been up to this week. The first one is I've done a um, thrifted ghost painting. <laughs> I found this painting in a thrift store and I think I paid $3 for it. And then I just painted some ghosts on it and then I painted a little kitty cat there too. So, and I got the reflections in the water. So I just wanted to show you guys that. This was so much fun. I did the painting, but my son was like, put one here, put one there, put one there. So it was really fun. And then the other thing I wanted to show you were these pumpkins. I keep meaning to show them to you. I always look forward to this time of year because I love it when these pumpkins come out. If you look at my previous video, you can see the orange one that I bought, but there's also this white one that I bought as well. So I'm gonna show you my stack of Nancy Drews. I have been collecting Nancy Drews for about a couple of years years now. My mom showed up with a box of them one day and sh they were mostly the Grosset and Dunlop uh, matted covers and I just love them so much. So I've been on the lookout ever since and my mom and my sisters help me out too. Whenever they see Nancy Drew they send me a message and ask if I have that one or not. So with their help I've been able to collect quite a few and so I wanted to show those to you today. I have my cardamom chai latte and I'll take a sip and we'll get started. Mm. Before I begin, I just wanted to give a little illustrator attention to the illustrators of the Nancy Drews I'm about to show you. Joseph Rudolph Nappy, or more commonly he's known as Rudy Nappy. And Nappy was probably one of the most prolific pop culture artists of that time. He illustrated the Nancy Drews and the Hardy Boys from about 1953 to 1979 and he redesigned Nancy Drew and each of these books has this beautiful cover and they have an end paper as well and then they have illustrations throughout. So let me show you the books. So of course we have number one, The Secret of the Old Clock, number two, The Hidden Staircase, and I'm currently reading number three, The Bungalow Mystery, and then I have number four, The Mystery at Lilac Inn. I'll probably replace this one because there's a little bit of handwriting on the front. I don't have number five, but I have number six, The Secret of Redgate Farm, number eight, Nancy's Mysterious Letter, and then I have number ten, the Password to Larkspur Lane. Number 14, The Whispering Statue. This one is one that I sort of remember. This one and another one coming up. Number 16, The Clue of the Tapping Hills. Number 28, The Clue of the Black Keys. I always think of James when I see this one because he's a huge fan of the rock band Black Keys. He loves them. Oh, this is the other one. This is number 26, The Clue of the Leaning Chimney. I remember this one vaguely. And then the other one is 35, The Haunted Showboat. And I have this one marked because I had to show you this. In it, it says, bought in the famous Filene's Basement Store, June 1975. And then on the inside, she has notes about her trip. Went to see Boston Red Sox, walked all over Boston, ate at famous Durgeon Park, also at the Hilltop in Saugus, went to Aquarium, Museum of Science, 50 stories high at Prudential Center, Freedom Trail, Paul Revere's house, and Old North Church, etc. <laughs> this one was really cool because it had her whole itinerary, what they did that day inside. Number 36, The Secret of the Golden Pavilion. Number 40, The Moonstone Castle Mystery. 
and number 41, The Clue of the Whistling Bagpipes. Well, that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this Nancy Drew book haul and let me know what your favorite Nancy Drew is. Before I go, I just want to also quickly thank Cindy, one of my Facebook followers, for putting out the most encouraging post about my channel last week and it was just really encouraging and felt great and so I just wanted to say thank you so much Cindy. I will be back soon with another video and until then I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead of you and hopefully you have beautiful weather like we're having. November is just around the corner it's a beautiful month too and I will see you then. Bye!